Metronidazole is an antimicrobial and antiprotozoal agent from the nitroamidazole class. It is highly effective against anaerobic bacteria and certain protozoa. Metronidazole is well absorbed following oral administration with nearly complete bioavailability of around 100%. Metronidazole is commonly used to treat a wide range of infections, including bacterial vaginosis, trichomoniasis, giardiasis, and anaerobic infections. In this video, we will discuss about some important clinical pearls about metronidazole. So, let's get started. Number 1. Anaerobic Spectrum Metronidazole is highly effective against anaerobes and protozoa. It is often combined with other antibiotics, like ceftriaxone and ciprofloxacin, to cover both anaerobic and aerobic pathogens in complex infections like intra-abdominal abscesses. Number 2. CNS Penetration Metronidazole has excellent penetration into the central nervous system, which makes metronidazole a preferred option for brain abscesses caused by anaerobic bacteria. While effective, prolonged or high-dose use of metronidazole can lead to CNS side effects like peripheral neuropathy, seizures, or encephalopathy, but these occur in rare cases. Number 3. Bioavailability Metronidazole has excellent bioavailability of around 100%, so patients should be switched from intravenous to oral metronidazole as soon as they are tolerating oral medications. And patient should take immediate release tablets with food to decrease GI upset. Number 4. Disulfiram-like reaction. Patients should be counseled to avoid alcohol consumption during and for 48 hours after treatment with metronidazole due to the potential for disulfiram-like reactions. Much more concerning is the interaction with warfarin, whose anticoagulant properties are significantly potentiated by inhibition of warfarin metabolism. So careful monitoring is required, and warfarin dose reduction is likely to be necessary when using it with metronidazole. Number 5. Neurotoxicity Long-term use or high doses of metronidazole can cause neurotoxic effects including peripheral neuropathy and seizures. Patients should be monitored for these side effects, and treatment should be discontinued if neurological symptoms develop. Number 6. Safe in Renal Impairment Metronidazole requires no dose adjustment in renal impairment. However, accumulation of its active metabolites in patients with severe renal dysfunction may warrant close monitoring. Metronidazole has warnings for causing aseptic meningitis, encephalopathy, and optic neuropathy if accumulation of metabolites occur. In summary, metronidazole is an effective antimicrobial and antiprotozoal agent primarily used for infections involving anaerobic bacteria and certain protozoa. Its ability to penetrate various body tissues, including the CNS, makes it useful for a broad range of infections, from brain abscesses to intra-abdominal infections. Due to potential drug interactions and its disulfiram-like effect with alcohol, patient education and careful monitoring is crucial to prevent adverse outcomes. So, that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below which drug class you'd like to see Clinical Pearls on next. Keep learning! Keep growing, and as always, stay tuned for more. Thank you.